it caught me by surprise. My jaw was open mm -hmm. and on the floor when the ending kind of happened to me. What's up guys, my name is Ed and this is Marissa and this is Distant Critics. Now before we get into it, these are just our opinions and our opinions alone. Don't get mad at us of what we say about this. Instead, go to the comments, let us know what you think about this film. Now you already know what we're getting into, you see the thumbnail. Today we're talking about The Bike Riders. Now without further ado, Marissa, can you let us know about the plot? Absolutely, let's do it. After a chance encounter, headstrong Kathy is drawn to Benny, member of Midwestern motorcycle club, The Vandals. As the club transforms into a dangerous underworld of violence, Benny must choose between Kathy and his loyalty to the club. So this movie shows the evolution of the motorcycle club, The Vandals, right in the 1960s, and it shows the growth in a positive and negative way. So if you wanna watch a movie where you feel like you're practically in there, or you can smell the cigarette smoke, then this is the movie <laughs> for you, promise. 100%. And can you tell me what you thought about the movie? Yeah, so this film isn't an A24 film, but it kind of has that feel. It's very like stylistic. You're not gonna get a bunch of action in it. Um, it's a time set piece. So visually, I thought the movie was gorgeous. I love the greenish gray tones and it felt very dirty, felt very rugged. All that makes you feel like you're in the movie, right? Like you said about the cigarettes, the camera shots, cinematography, all that stuff looked super great. Um, but for me, I felt like the movie was just a tad bit too slow. Really? Yeah, okay, so you felt a little bit different, tell me. But this movie was Fantastic. I'm gonna say it out there right now, right in the beginning. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the speed was exactly where it should have been. And my whole thing is I want to go back to where the cast is. I think the ensemble of the cast is so electric, like the chemistry between them all. And believe it or not, I know you may not think so, but for me, I felt like it was a pull on your heartstring type of movie because you fully mm. immerse yourself into these characters and then you kind of grow attached to these characters regardless if it was told in Kathy's perspective or not. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. I, I did love the characters. I felt like um, the devotion that each person put into each character was really, really great. My favorite person in this film was Tom Harding's character of Johnny. I, I felt like he had the most depth in his character where at some times I thought he was hilarious and other times i thought he was obnoxious and like rude but then towards the end i felt like very sad and, and sorry for him um jody cormer's character I, I forget her name but i thought she was wonderful as well and then kathy, kathy. and then austin mm -hmm. butler was one where i thought we were actually going to get a little bit of more from him i think the marketing kind of like told a little bit of a story that he was going to be more in this film. However, I don't think he's in there that much, but for his character, he's much more of a drifter. So it makes sense that he's in and out um, and you can't really connect with that character, but there's just something about him. And I think he portrays that pretty well. Yeah, and I do have to agree with you. They kind of showed this film as if Benny Austin Butler, you know, was going to be the star role in this mm -hmm. but i truly felt that he wasn't he he had like eight lines <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah so i just feel like it, it 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 did a real good job on showing him that stone cold like i have no emotion type of character but overall he just wasn't there for me but johnny on the other hand tom hardy's character mm -hmm. was fantastic <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> this word is so amazing right now. Fantastic at embodying Johnny and who he is as a leader, who he was as a brother, and who he was to a person of himself. And I think he just embodied all that. And you know what? I don't even want to talk about near the end because I just felt like that was unacceptable and shouldn't have happened. And <laughs> it just, 
it caught me by surprise. My jaw was open mm -hmm. and on the floor when the ending kind of happened to me. She didn't see but, the ending. I saw it coming, but we'll leave it at that. No spoilers. But go no ahead. No spoilers. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, overall, this movie also, it reminds me, my parents, my, my dad was in a motorcycle club and my mom was right there with him. And it just made me think about the camaraderie between them all, um, how they are really all brothers. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, I used to go on events with them and stuff, um, go on motorcycle rides and stuff with them and just seeing everyone come together. I just thought that it was very, like the brotherhood is real and you even have like the sisterhood too. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that. Shout out Madre. Yeah. Shout out to mom, shout out to my dad. Um, yeah, it was very, it made me kind of think like that, just, you know, not back in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's that's cool. I, I'm glad that you, like, connected it with that way. To me, I, when, I, when I thought of motorcycle gangs, I thought of, like, I don't know, just really loud and, like, adrenaline rushing, punchy in the face type of stuff. And while there are glimpses of that in this film... It, it came off more of a sad film. So I, when you said that it like pulls on your heartstrings, I, I think that's what you said. I, I can see where you get that from this film. Um, so for me, I, I do know this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but while it was just a small tad bit slow for myself, I'm still gonna give it a recommend because I, I did enjoy the characters. I felt like it was very, very character driven. And I, I did like um, the way that the movie looked stylistically yeah i absolutely think you're right i'm also going to give it a recommend i would tell my family to watch it my friends to watch it i would tell everyone to watch it and i'd probably watch it again that's how much i really enjoyed this movie shoot well that's great um and we want to know what you guys have to say about this film if you watched it and you liked it if you watched it and you didn't like it whatever your thoughts are leave them in the comments down below and if you have any other suggestions on any movies that you would like us to review please leave the comment down below so we can turn your idea into reality and thank you guys so much for joining us today on distant critics yes thank you